Mate 20 Pro Shock, owners will be alarmed by what their phone is now worth. Mate 20 Pro owners will be shocked by what their phone is now worth if they attempt to sell it through a reputable UK retailer. Mate 20 Pro was unwrapped by Huawei back in October and was immediately striking for its range of ambitious new features. First and foremost, the Mate 20 Pro placed its camera on a pedestal, the hardware arrived with three sensors on its rear that combined to deliver an incredibly rich photography experience. Mate 20 Pro comes with a 40 megapixel primary sensor that was accompanied by a 20 megapixel ultra wide angle system and an 8 megapixel telephoto module. In addition to its camera array, the Mate 20 Pro also boasts a vibrant display, a massive battery, and is powered by a rapid processor. Until last week, it had been expected the Huawei flagship would continue to receive Android software updates from Google for the foreseeable future. In fact, at its recent I.O. developer conference Google had initially declared the Mate 20 Pro would partake in the Android Q beta ahead of its full release. However, on Monday, May 20, Google suspended Huawei's Android license, thereby excluding it from future Android updates such as Q that will release later this year. The move not only means current Huawei hardware is unlikely to receive substantial software overhauls, but future devices from the OEM will also not be able to harness Google's array of popular services such as Maps, YouTube, and more in an app form. Google's decision came shortly after the Trump administration added Huawei Technologies COLTD to a trade blacklist that introduces myriad restrictions surrounding how American firms are able to interact with it. Although the Android block on Huawei has since been lifted temporarily until August 19, the situation appears to have shifted the confidence of some users where the Chinese firm's devices are concerned. And it appears some retailers have significantly lowered the cost they are prepared to pay customers trading in recent Huawei flagships. For instance reputable UK outlet Music Magpie is currently offering Mate 20 Pro owners a mere £75 for a device considered to be in good condition. This figure tumbles to £37.50 if the handset is in poor condition and £7.50 if it is faulty. Although prices to purchase the Mate 20 Pro outright have plunged to around £600 since the phone's release, initially the Mate 20 Pro's retail cost was £899.99. Express.co.uk asked Music Magpie why Huawei trade-in prices offered have dramatically fallen. In response, the firm's managing director of electronics, John Miller, said, the trade-in value of the Huawei P20 Pro has dropped dramatically this week following Google's announcement. Although the company's statement is clear that all current handsets will retain their access to the Play Store and customers will continue to be able to update their apps, consumer confidence has disappeared and right now, there is a lot of uncertainty in the market. To demonstrate just how exponentially low the offers from Music Magpie are, the Apple iPhone 7 that launched back in 2016 is currently worth £135 if it's sold to the outlet in good condition. Additionally, the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 that launched back in August is being priced at £350 in the same good state. Finally, Apple's iPhone X that launched in 2017 is said to be worth £442 if owners trade it in. It is worth noting other notable Huawei flagships such as the P20 Pro and the P30 Pro are similarly said to be worth £100 or less by Music Magpie.